Hello, welcome to Tricky IELTS. I hope you are doing great. Those students who are unable to describe various trends in IELTS writing task 1 should stay here. Watch this video till the end in order to get the solution of a aforementioned problem. In this video, you will learn vocabulary for increased trends, vocabulary for decreased trends, when the figure remains same, it work to describe increase and decrease trends. Ejective to describe increase and decrease trends. First, I'll share that uh, words uh, which you can use to demonstrate upward trends. Means when something is increased and you want to describe their trends. So in that case, how many words you can use and uh, I'll share the present and past uh, tense of each word. For example, whenever you want to describe upward trend so you can use the word increase the past tense of increase is increased elevate elevated accelerate accelerated leap and lift soar and soared surge surged go up went up Climb and climbed. For example, whenever you want to describe something, uh, means in present, so you can use like this that the number of pizza consumer increased dramatically in Italy. So now I have used here increase. Whenever you want to discuss, means the same trend in past tense, so you can use uh, increased instead of increased, like the number of pizza consumer increased sharply during 2007. So means I have used increase and increase in both sentences. So you can replace and you can use the same whenever you are describing something. Now I'll share words uh, which you can use to describe decrease trend. For example, uh, sink, sank, ib, ibbed, plunge, plunged, plummet and plummeted, deplete and depleted, subside. And subsided, decline and declined, adverbs to describe increased trends. Now I'll share adverbs which you can use whenever you are describing increased trends. For example, you can use like this that this figure increased sharply, this figure uh, increased dramatically so now i'll share uh, me uh, a word which will help you whenever you are describing upward trend so you can use like this that increased sharply soared dramatically elevated rapidly leaped steeply accelerated considerably Climbed significantly, increased substantially, accelerated gradually, increased slightly, climbed moderately, whenever a number or a figure stay constant, so how you will describe that. So you can use remain same. For example, the number of car user remains same from 2007 to 2009. So instead of remain same, you can also use remain stable, remain constant, stay constant, stay stable. You can uh, use these words uh, instead of uh, remain constant or remain same. To describe figure, whenever you are describing figures, so you can use well over. For example, you can describe like this that uh, the figure uh, is well over for, for example, now uh, seven, if you just compare seven with four, so seven uh, means, uh, seven figure is, means big as compared to four. So you can uh, describe like this that this figure is well over four, means seven is already uh, more than uh, four. So you can use that this figure is well over four well under 
So you can describe like this that the percentage. For example, if you are describing a percentage, and uh, you just uh, means guess that now this percentage uh, means is well under. So you can then describe the figure which is given like this percentage is well over four. This percentage is uh, well under four. You can also use just over and just under. If the figure is slightly more uh, from the figure which you are describing or if the uh, figure is uh, slightly you can say uh, decrease which you are going to describe so you can use like just under this figure is just under 4 this figure is just under 3 noun an adjective to describe increase or decrease trend so you can uh, use means noun as well as uh, you can use uh, adjective like this there a gradual increase is seen in the number of car buyers. So uh, I have used mean a gradual increase is seen in the number of car buyers. So you can also use like this that a sharp decline is witnessed in the number of pizza consumers. A sharp decline is witnessed in the number of pizza consumers. Another example, the figure for unemployment defects a slow growth so you can uh, means describe the trends in various ways so i have you means i have shared words with you to describe uh, increased trends how to describe decreased trends when uh, the figure remains same and i have also shared means uh, noun and uh, adjectives which you can use whenever uh, you are writing task one and task two so means you have to practice on these but if you practice on these words in the real exam you will face no problem and you will be able to describe every trend in a short span of time and you will you will not be running uh, you, will, you will not be running short of lexical resources so try to learn these words and practice on these words as much as you can i hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video I encourage you to subscribe my channel for more videos relevant to ads and grammar. Thank you for watching.